AFTV, Pippa, big smile on her face now. He's a bit frustrated at half time, but it was a well earned win in the end. Definitely. I mean, the first half is totally different to the second half. Very dry, very flat, not fluid enough football. But I have to give a massive shout out to Bukaya Saka. First goal at the Emirates. It's a big week for him getting the England. It was his first goal at the Emirates. Fifth goal, I think, for Arsenal, but definitely first goal at the Emirates. So he must be buzzing with that, especially getting the call up to England this week as well. Um, and the lead up to the goal was good as well. Everyone, like they said, was crowded against the Bamyang. The, that's the man you want to target when you're defending. But it left Saka wide open to get his head on that goal. And, get us in the lead and Pepe coming in changing the game as well Arteta made key changes in the game because it, like I said there was no creativity mm. we'd be crying out for that I know we're not going to get it tomorrow I hope we do but I don't think I see us happy, I see us doing anything in the transfer window tomorrow I don't know if you do <laughs> <laughs> he's not watching the Man United game red card <laughs> right, who cares but um, you know the transfer window tomorrow you touched on it mm. you don't think we're going to get anything in it when do we ever get the player that we want Bamiyang? No. Lacazette? Bamiyang, Lacazette, Ozil. Those are the three ones, yeah? And those were on the whim. 2020, I know Arteta's done well and we've got faith in him, but can he really get two players or one of the two that we want mm. on the day? On the day? I don't if see how... If you can only get one, who would it be for you? Who is it most likely to be? Or who no, who would you... If you can only have one, you've got a choice, who would it be? Uh, I would... I would say our, you know. I was probably going to say Partey because we need that defensive mid, but and then he's doing okay in that position. So Bias is doing okay as well, but he is not our player. He's on loan. So I think our, our we need that creativity. That's going to be our player that can, our player, <laughs> and bring us back into the Champions League, hopefully. But why would he come to Arsenal if he's not getting Champions League football? Why would either of them? It's a thing called money, really. Yeah, but still. <laughs> and the, the project, isn't it? I mean, Aubameyang stayed for the project. So, you know, maybe, you know, you, I mean, he's looking... You'll look at the um, table today. We're fourth in the table, yeah, so hopefully there's some pulling power. Hopefully the mm. man them are texting, party, talking to mm. Hussemawa in the DMs or wherever, or WhatsApp, telling them, "Listen, just come." Saying, "My bro, just come." Because it might be like, "Hey, I didn't even play me yeah, today. Stay where you are." <laughs> how how are we going to convince him? You know, who's going to? Back in the day, Wenger could have had that little chat. Wenger's got that pulling power. No matter what anyone has to say about him, he has that power to do that. But. I don't know how Arteta's going to pull the strings. Edu's going to pull the strings. The players, hopefully it's the players and the fans that can really get those signings over the line because I think that's what it's going to come down to, social media, the fans showing how much they want the players and that. So you think the fans have got a lot to... A big, that's how we got Gabriel, isn't it? Fans have got a big part to play. 100%. Fans and the players because, like we say, that Brazilian link-up, Edu, Willian, David Luiz and the fans, I think, helps get Gabriel over. Yeah? I mean, he wants to come to a club like Arsenal anyway, but still... Mm. Trying to get those players, we're going to need big pulling power. And I think the biggest pulling power we have at the moment is obviously the money. And then next is the fans and the players that are going to convince them to come to this club and come to London. No, this isn't a robbery at the end of the video. We are telling you about these brand new masks from Mask SC in football-inspired colours. You can get your team on it. The link is in the description. Get on it right now.